Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Starlord. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day and in today's video we're actually going to be looking at all of the brand new cosmetic items coming to Fortnite Battle Royale within the version 5.20 update patch that came out just today. These are a lot of awesome things coming to the game guys so please make sure to stay tuned throughout the whole video and also if you do end up enjoying it please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite videos just like this one here today. Um, anyway, let's get straight into it, looking at all of these new Ghana characters, because I know that's what you're here to see. So starting off with number one, which is compliments of at CrossLeaks on Twitter. This is a Fortnite leak kind of channel or Twitter page. So thank you very much for all of these dudes. You're very, very awesome. So we're going to start off with the first one, which is the Sushi Chef one. And as he is on screen right now, and as you can see, he looks pretty darn cool. He is just a Sushi Chef. I like the way he looks. I like that little bandana thing he's got on him. And uh, yeah, very interesting. Not really much to say about it other than the character model is a pretty cool one. The suit looks pretty cool. And I can imagine this one be a pretty cheap price, to be honest. Because it doesn't look like it's much of a big kind of character skin or anything. Like, not much has changed apart from the kind of clothes he's wearing. So yeah. Other than that, we're going to be move on, moving on to the second skin, which is this one on screen right now. And as you can see, he looks pretty darn cool. I actually know all of the names for all of these, but I, um, I am forgetting them. So uh, yeah, I believe this one is called the Overtaker. So very cool skin looking kind of guy. I really like him. He looks very badass. He looks much better than the Burnout guy. So it looks like this guy could possibly be like the Burnout's enemy kind of dude. I don't know, maybe. So, yeah, looks looks pretty cool. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I love those spikes on his chest, too. They're really awesome. And uh, moving on to the female variant, which is... Oh, wait, no, it's not. Okay, it's sorry. It's going to be the Mullet Murderer. Uh, so, this one is the Mullet Murderer. He is going to be purple in the item shop. As you can see, kind of looks a little bit like Dr. Disrespect, but without the darker hair. And uh, this is clearly a guy who goes to the gym. 70s kind of theme. And he looks pretty... Awesome I, in a weird creepy way, but still you know nevertheless he looks pretty awesome guys So yeah, I really like this character. I think it's very funny that they decide to add someone like this into the game We're next gonna be moving on to the whiteout character who's on screen right now as you can see and uh, Again, this one looks pretty cool. I like the way she looks uh, Personally, I do prefer the male variant. I don't know why maybe it's the armor and the kind of spikes and everything It would have been cool if she had spikes, but unfortunately she doesn't, so yeah, she doesn't look as badass, so yeah, but you can see her butt looks pretty big, so that's a pretty big butt right there, so yeah. Um, other than that, I do prefer the male character out of both of those skins, so yeah. The next one that we're going to be moving on to is on screen right now, and as you can see, yes, it is the long-awaited Durburger guy. This is actually called the Beef Boss, and this is going to be purple in the item shop. Again, looks pretty cool. I don't really know about the color scheme of this character. I don't think I like it. But other than that, it does look pretty funny. You know, it's the Durburger guy. Who doesn't want the Durburger guy? It's a freaking pizza. It's a pizza? No, no, it's a burger. It's a burger as a head. So, yeah, pretty cool character. One that people have been waiting for for a long, long time now. So, uh, yeah, very cool that they decide to add it in this season. Next on there we're going to move on to is the one called Panda Team Leader. This is going to be a kind of a, what is the gold variant? I think it's like a gold or orangey kind of variant. And uh, yeah, it looks very interesting. I don't necessarily know if I'm going to be buying this. Only because I have the Cuddle Team Leader and I hardly ever use it. Because the head is just too big and it annoys me. So again... Yeah, this is the skin that's coming out. A lot of people have been hyped about it since they knew it was kind of coming out. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it, I guess. But I'm not going to be buying it. Definitely not. So, yeah. Moving on to the next one, we have the female variant of the Mullet Murderer, and this one is the Aerobic Assassin. She is also going to be a purple variant kind of skin, I think. And uh, she looks pretty cool, you know, she's got those big ass glasses on, those kind of like lightning bolt earrings, and uh, also the one on her jumper or her top, I guess. And of course, again, she is somebody who goes to the gym, kind of goes out in those workout routines. She's wearing those high top sneakers there. She looks pretty cool. I like her. Uh, but I don't know whether I'm actually going to buy her or not, so yeah. Um, other than that, guys, what we're actually going to be moving on to is one that you guys probably have not seen. This one is the one called the Galaxy Skin, or I guess it's called the Celestial Skin. I'm sorry that it's not like the other one that we just, like the others that we saw on screen, but he is going to be on screen right now. And as you can see, yes, it is basically just a guy who is full of galaxies with a floating kind of like things around his head. Very confused about these uh, this again, but yeah, I guess it looks pretty cool. So, 
yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to buy it, even though it looks really badass. I don't know. And this is also going to be a purple variant skin, as far as I believe. So, yeah. Moving on now to all of the gliders that we're going to be seeing in, um, in, the, in the new update. The first one that we see is the Cyclone one, and this one looks pretty darn cool. I really like this one. This is obviously to go with the Overtaker and the Whiteout kind of characters. And this is just basically a motorbike that has kind of been altered to be a glider. So, yeah, very, very cool indeed. Moving on from that one, we also do have the female variant of it, assumingly. And this is the White Squall, I think it is. White Squall, yeah? Is that right? I think so, anyway. And this is obviously to go with the Whiteout and the Overtaker ones. I just now realized that the one before that is obviously a back bling to the Burnout kind of character. So, that's really cool. Or a, a glider, I guess. Yeah. I'm, I'm having a lot of brain fart here, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, other than that, we do also have a brand new glider, which is the Flying Sorcerer. And it says, make mine a royale. And obviously, you know who's Berger. Um, sorry, who's a, who's a glider this is. It's obviously a Derberger guy. I really like this. I'm going to buy it. It is a purple variant. And it's really cool. I'm just hoping that ketchup and mustard comes out of those two things right there. Because that would be really, really cool. So yeah, awesome pick out uh, Awesome, um, what do you call it? Glider. I really, really like it. Other than that, we're going to be moving on now. And we also have the Windbreaker one, which is a, a kind of glider to go with the two kind of 70s themed characters. Not really much to talk about here. Just looks kind of funky and kind of cool. Very colourful. Uh, so yeah, very cool. And this is also going to be a... Um, I think it's a green variant. So yeah, a green variant, whatever that is. So that is what that is right there. Now we're going to be moving on to all of the kind of uh, pickaxes that we're going to be seeing in the update. The first one is the exercise one. This is obviously to go with those 70s guys. And again, this is just like a dumbbell with a lot of weights on and everything. So that you can start smacking your opponents. That would freaking hurt, by the way. That would be like, that'd be in terms of pickaxes. I think that one would be the one to knock someone out in one hit. That'd be crazy. Uh, so moving on, we also do have the uh, Patty Whacker, which is us, obviously the uh, back, uh, sorry, the, the kind of out, out, out kind of thing. What's that thing called? It's a pickaxe. That's what it's called. It's a pickaxe to go with the Durberger guy. I really like this, although, although I kind of wish it looked a little bit better. It doesn't look the best, in my opinion. But, you know, still looks pretty cool. I like it. And, uh, yeah, that is going to be a green variant kind of a uh, pickaxe. So, pretty cool. The next one that you're seeing on screen right now is the fillet axe, which is going to go with the sushi chef or the panda one. I'm not 100% sure which character this one goes with. It could be either one, to be honest. But it says a cut above the rest. So, I'm assuming that it is going to be the, uh, it is going to be the sushi chef. But, again, I don't know. I kind of like this one, to be honest. But it is a blue variant kind of pickaxe. And I am not going to pay that for this because it just doesn't look the best kind of one. So I wish that like the knife was a little bit longer or more curved to make it look like a pickaxe though. Maybe that's what the problem is here. So yeah. Uh, moving on, we also do have the uh, kind of pickaxe to go with the Wukong, which is called the Jingu Bang. And uh, it says fit for a king. Of course, this one is for the Wukong character, which we've been waiting for for quite a long time now. So very, very cool indeed. I really like that. And um, yeah, I actually do have a couple of more things that I want to show you guys, such as the back blings to go with these characters. The first one is going to be on screen right now. And as you can see, yes, it is bamboo. That is literally what it's called, bamboo. This goes with the panda p uh, character and uh, you get it free with it. So yeah, looks pretty cool, very basic. Uh, personally for me, like I said, I don't like that character so I'm probably not going to get it but again pretty cool pretty darn cool next one that we're going to be moving on to is the deep fry back bling and this one is obviously for the dirt burger I really like this and I feel like the only reason I get the dirt burger character is for this back bling so it, only time will tell I guess because uh, I really like it I love the fact that they put the logo in there and it looks all goofy and stuff like that so that's really really cool and uh, yeah the uh, tagline for that is perfectly greasy, so cool, very cool indeed. Moving on, we also do have the backplate back bling. This is obviously to go with those 70s characters, uh, the kind of exercise people, and uh, yeah, just looks like a load of weights that are attached to your back. So yeah, I, I don't know, I don't really like it to be honest, so yeah, nah, 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 nah. Uh, now to this one right here, this one is the ignition back bling, and this is the female variant of the uh, kind of two characters that we saw earlier, the biker kind of people. And it says here, start it up, and of course, it looks pretty freaking badass, because it has a katana 
on the back of it. How cool is that? Uh, so I really like that back bling. It's really cool. Obviously, you can see it's kind of got those patterns on the kind of handle. It's also got the kind of rope hanging down or the kind of like tie or whatever it is. So that's really, really cool indeed. The next one that we're going to be looking at is the one on screen right now. And this is the chef's choice. This is to obviously go with the sushi chef. And it looks pretty cool. It's obviously like a little tiny kind of heater kind of thing. Like where you can heat up your sushi or keep it warm. So that's pretty cool. I like it. Pretty darn cool. Moving on, we also have the lane splitter, which is the male variant back bling for the two bikers. Again, this one looks really cool, except the only difference is it's white and black rather than just completely white. So I really like that. Very cool back bling indeed. Moving on to the next one, we do have the boom box. And uh, yeah, I really like this one more than most of them. Like, I think this one is one where... I am going to buy this one just for the back bling. I'm going to buy the character just so I can get that back bling because I really like it. And it reminds me of Guardians of the Galaxy too. So yeah, I really like it. So pretty cool indeed. Um, other than that, I'm pretty sure that is all of the back blings that we're going to be seeing in Fortnite Battle Royale over the next couple of, uh, in the next couple of weeks. Um, very cool indeed. I don't think I've really missed any kind of characters or anything like that or any back blings or anything like that. So, yeah, guys, tell me in the comment section below what your favorites were out of all of this video. I would love to know. Uh, but other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a very awesome day. Do not forget to leave a like on today's video. And until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, cool. See you.